I saw your uh, your tweet where you were a little fired up about your your alma mater, USC. Uh, what makes you most upset about this situation? And I'm quite tired of our alma mater, us as former players, uh, Board of Regents, alumni fans. And, you know, Dan, I love my Trojans, and you're familiar with our – we've talked about it for many years – is the arrogance and pride that we think a 17-year-old kid who plays Madden has any idea that I played or that we won a national championship in 78, they don't care. Hey, man, you got to do it the Trojan way. Yeah, what's the Trojan way? Going 8-3 and three and, and ended up in, the, in El Paso and playing in a game at UTEP. And I, I'm being a bit facetious, but, Dan, that, it bothers me because we got to get out of that mode of 17-year-old kids have about, have about a five-year attention span. They want to know about name, image, and likeness. They want to make sure they can play on TV every week, national TV. They want to make sure they can play for a national title. They want to make sure that, uh, that the NFL is waiting on them and that you understand what, you know, where they're coming from. The kid at modern day, think about this, Dan. The kid at modern day knows more about the uniforms at Oregon, yeah. and they're a good program, than they do about student body right. So if you're going to be the next coach, you better buy in. So the arrogance of us, see the history and tradition of a program, those kids can get that when they get there. The history is for you and I to mull over. Dan, remember when I was in 1981 and I was a recruited? And a, you say that to a kid and he goes, no, 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 Sean, I didn't even know you did that, man. Remember, and that's probably the grocery checker kid, let alone the recruit. So you've got to understand, Nick, say, that you've got to do the now and what's happening, the, what's going to happen the next five years for them. That's what they want to know. They could care less about history and tradition. That's just the, that's the era we're in. And that next coach better understand that. And he better keep guys in a 150-mile radius in the state and in the Southern California area and at USC. Okay. Is this a marquee job that you can go out and say, hey, we want you. Like, we can pick and choose who we want. Is it still um, a great program? It, it, it's a – Dan, the name's great, and I don't want this to sound conflictory, uh, conflictory to what I said. It's still – people still know who USC is. The problem is we can't – it's like going in and – misplaced when you're going through an interview, misplacing what you're trying to sell about your program. I'm not trying to sell Marcus Allen Heisman trophy. When you walk into McKay center, you'll see that once we got you on campus, Dan, when I was there and before me and after me with all those great players, and it wasn't one of them Like we, you know, we need dogs in the program. We got good players. Don't misunderstand me, but think about four of the top quarterbacks in college football. They're all playing in the SC. They're playing somewhere else. And, it's not a knock on Slovis. It's just the, the yearly thing. We used to be, if you came in and think about a dog in your backyard and, and we need dogs in the program, but it used to be that in our backyard, if you wanted to take us out of Southern California, that you had to come in, pick us up, steal us and take us. And here's the recruiting trip. Here's where you are. Here's why you want to play here. Now we at SC, we just open the gate for you. Oh, come on out, man. Go on and play for Nick Saban. He can waltz into your backyard. When a guy at modern day knows more about Alabama's program than he does the guys that are within 30 miles or 50 miles of campus, we got a problem. Yes, it's still got that. It is USC, but we're no longer that guy, Dan. We're a guy. It's like the guy, the third, the, the backup tight end who's trying to be that guy, but he's not yet. We're now used to be that guy. Now we're just a guy in, in college football that we're a guy to, to, to Oregon. We're a guy to Clemson. We're a guy to those programs. And there's a bunch of us, Florida State, Miami, Texas, uh, Nebraska, but we're at the top of that. So we're still, it's still USC, but it isn't USC. 